Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today I'm going to show you how to save yourself some filament when printing large things with the new Simplify 3D version 4. Stick around! Welcome back makers. So as you probably know, Simplify 3D have released a new version of their software in the past few days. Now this new version has been awaited for quite some time and it packs with it quite a lot of new features. However, I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'm just gonna go through one very important feature which I found to be extremely helpful in order not to waste excessive filament if you want to print something too big. So right here in front of me, I have a low poly Darth Vader by Flowalistic. This was printed on the Ant E Carry, it's fairly small, but I also have a TiVo which has a build height of 50 centimeters. So this could actually be enlarged about 450%. However, in order for me to build something that big, I'd need either a couple of spools of the same color and same company filament, or one large spool of at least two, two and a half kilos of filament, because I usually print with three perimeters and 10 or 15% infill. I decided to dive into Simplify 3D and use their new feature, which is, to dissect layers and print with different processes. Now the key thing in this print was that it had to be less than one kilo of filament in total. So I'm gonna show you what I did to achieve that. So this is the new Simplify 3D. It looks pretty much exactly the same as it did. Uh, the only difference is they added a few features. So this, is the low poly Darth Vader by Flowalistic with the cape. Now what I want to do is maximize the height to make use of as much build area as possible. So I'm going to scale it up to 450%. It could be a bit more, but 450 is a round number and it'll do fine. Usually when I would print something like this, I would edit the process, I'd go on layers. Uh, this is pretty much my standard printing way. It's three layers, five top layers, four bottom layers. Um, we'll do an infill, let's say 10% because it's quite large. And the speeds will be 80 millimeters a second because the Tivo Little Monster can actually handle that fairly easy. So if we go on prepare to print, we'll slice the model. One thing you will notice is the information right here. This actually tells you the build time, which is 46 hours and 38 minutes, and it will use a whopping 436 meters of filament. Now, usually one roll of one kilogram PLA is usually about 333 meters, so this wouldn't be enough. If we start dissecting the print, we can see that, okay, it's already starting to be quite a lot in infill, so we don't really need that. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to infill and we're going to reduce it to 5% and see the difference. Okay, so now as you can see that we've already saved up almost 100 meters of filament by just shaving down the infill to 5% from 10% and the build time went down to 40 hours, so it's about 6 hours less. And we can see that it's okay. It has a decent amount of infill, but the thing is, do we really need that much infill? And then there is another problem, which is places like this here, where the arm starts printing, as you can see, it starts printing on empty space. And that usually doesn't work very well. It might be fine as soon as it starts getting here, but until it reaches that, it becomes a bit complicated for the printer to manage and for the filament to sort of stay in place. Now, apart from that, there is also the other area up here, which is that part here. Now this is very difficult to get with less percentage because if you do maybe like 2% infill, this, this wouldn't be enough to cover it and you'll most likely have a failed top layer. So this is where the new Simplify 3D features come in. What we're going to do is we're pretty much going to look at the print and see which areas could use less infill, less perimeters, and any other changes we can do. Now, the base is kind of okay because I don't mind it having that much infill because that is 
quite steep angle. And if I want to use only two perimeters, I need a decent amount of support to, um, to put the layers down. So as we go up, you can see that from here, that's actually a bit too much infill. There's no need for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop right there and we're going to see that the Z height is 45 millimeters. So we're going to leave that up to 10% infill. This is where it gets a bit complicated. So 10% infill, this area right here is not exactly ideal. It probably needs more. 20% would be ideal, but it doesn't have to be all the way. So what we'll do is we'll take two layers, just a couple of layers before the hand starts, which is 234.4 millimeters. And we're going to take note of that. Once that's okay, we can actually scroll a bit further up and we can see what's going to happen. So here it's going to start just going straight up. So around here, 240.4 millimeters, we can revert back to a minimum amount of infill. If we start scrolling back up, right over there is that notch where um, the, uh, the part that connects the head and the body together starts. So we're gonna go just down a few layers under that, let's say 455 millimeters point 20. And at that point, we can set it to maybe 15% info. We're gonna scroll back up over here. It would be fine. So this would be another mark to take, which is 458.8 millimeters. And over here, we would revert back to our lowest percentage of infill. Scroll further up and we can see, see that would be a fail. So just before that, right here, 462 millimeters will revert back to our 15% info. And all the way up from there, it seems to be just fine. Now that we took note of all those layer heights, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into layer. And in my case, I'm going to reduce it to two because two outside perimeters is enough. The only difference that we're going to change is the infill. The only reason why I did it now is because when it starts dissecting the processes, create, creating multiple processes, it will base them on the information of the first section right here. So we're going to click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Tools, Variable Setting Wizards, and we're going to start adding the location of each and every single layer that we took note of while we were inspecting the preview of the print. So the first section was 45 millimeters in height. Second one was 234.40. And you keep entering them one after the other. Every time you do it, you add a location and Simplify 3D will take note. Once you have entered all the locations which you took note of, you just click on split process and you'll instantly see that now we have multiple processes for this print. So if we go on the first one, it's the same one that we created initially with the two layers and everything else is exactly the same as the first one we created. So now we'll have to modify each one accordingly. We already said that two parameters is fine and all we have to do is change the infill on each section. On the first section, the infill was at 10% and that was fine for us. However, going upwards, which was from the ankles up to where the hands start, infill is not really necessary. We just want something to kind of keep the structure intact. So we'll put, 3% infill. Third process is where the uh, hands started. We're going to need to put a bit more infill over there. So we'll do 15%. The fourth process is from the hands all the way up to around the neck area. So we're going to leave that at 3%. Fifth process will be 15%. Six process doesn't really need lots of support, so we can go back down to three. The last part is where it gets quite a bit tricky to print, so we'll go back to 15. And the rest of the print, we can possibly do at five because it has the closing layers of the print, so we just want a bit more support. Now, when you click to prepare to print, 
you just select all processes and click OK. Now the first thing you will notice is that the build time has gone down to 30 hours and the filament length down to 266 meters. So not only will a spool be enough, we will have about, I'd say about 70 extra meters that we could use for the rest of the head to print with. Now, when we go to inspect the body, as you can see, the infill changes and it changes where it's relevant to the print. So we start off in the bottom, we set 15%. When no structural infill is needed, we can just go up with 3%. That could actually be even lower down to 2%. But we'll leave it at 3% for now. Where the hands start, we did 15% and then it stops again. So it's looking okay from my end. I think this would be, this is good enough for me. And this is the result. I think it looks absolutely awesome. I'm kind of taking care to move it around because I still haven't attached some glue to put it in one piece. But I have to say that the TiVo Little Monster actually did an absolutely awesome job to print all of this. It took about 27 hours in total. It took exactly 23 hours and 18 seconds to print for the body and about three hours in total to print the head and the connector in between, which is this thing right here. So I think this is a perfect example of how you can minimize waste if you just want to print something extra large. And I, I think that's extra large. Now, that's not the only thing you can change. You can also, if you have a certain model, which doesn't have lots of different sections, you can actually switch into vase mode for a certain section of the print and then continue back with your normal process. Now, TiVo Little Monster actually did a fabulous job with this print. The layers are laid down absolutely beautifully. You can see a bit of resonance in the print and that is quite normal with deltas, especially one with such a large size. But that's something I will discuss during the review of the TiVo Little Monster. However, in the meantime, I think this came absolutely gorgeous and I am extremely, extremely happy with the result, how quickly it printed it, and also the amount of filaments that I used to print this. So what do you guys think? Should we print something else this large? Maybe a Stormtrooper to go along with it. Why not too? I am very happy with this feature. It showcases what difference it makes. We went down from about 460 meters of filament to using approximately, I think 270 in total, 270 meters. Now, while I could have just printed all of this at 3% infill or tried to find a balance at 5%, it's just an example of how much you can save. I, I could have just not done an infill in certain sections of the body, but it was just to showcase an example. So let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section of the video. Leave a like, subscribe, you can share and give me more ideas of big things I can print with the TiVo Little Monster. I want to thank Filamentive for supplying the filaments to print the uh, 
low poly large Darth Vader. If you guys check in the video description, there'll be a 10% off code for your next purchase. I also want to remind you, if you send them your empty spools, you will get 20% off your next order. So make sure you check them out. They're an absolutely awesome sponsor for this channel. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, in the meantime, happy making guys.